Hello students, welcome to the YouTube channel. Eternal AC Education. In this session, you are going to learn Chapter 3, Scoping Part 3. Content of the session. What is a module or modular programming? What is the characteristics of a module? Benefits of a module? Access control in object oriented programs, access control in Python. What's the difference between that? You are going to learn these things. Let's start, let's start the session. Module. A module is a part of a program. A single module can contain one or several statements closely related to each other. First point, it is a part of a program. Second, it is a set of instruction that is several statements closely related. Third point, modules work perfectly on individual level and can be integrated with other module. So a module can be integrated with other module. So three points regarding the module. First one, it is a part of a program. Second one, it is a set of instructions which are related to each other. Third point, a module can be integrated with other module. What is modular programming? A software program can be divided into modules to ease the job of programming and debugging as well. The process of subdividing a computer program into separate sub-programs is called modular programming. So, modular programming means subdividing the program into pieces that are sub-programs is said to be modular programming. Examples of Procedures, subroutines and functions. Functions, subroutines. We have learned this in our first chapter itself. Subroutines are set of instructions. Functions also set of instructions. In programming language, subroutines are termed as functions. Already we have seen this example. Here, import. It's a keyword used to import the module random. And here random dot rand integer 100 comma 200. It is a function which is inside the package of random. And the function is called with two parameters. Characteristics of modules. Module contains instructions, processing logic and data. Random is a module. It contains instructions, processing logic and data. Instructions, I cannot say the instructions here because it is done. That means it is compiled and stored in the library. Processing logic means what this random is going to do that is said to be processing logic. Data, what is what type of data it is going to handle is data. Here this random, rand int 100 comma 200 means it is handling integer data. But it is not restricted that a package should handle only one type of data. It can handle any type of data. So your module will contain instructions, processing logic and the data. Is it clear? Next point. Modules can be separately compiled and stored in the library. Yes, it is compiled and stored in the library as it is stored we are using here. We don't know the content or the coding which is involved in random. But we are simply using because it is found in the library of Python. Modules can be included in a program. Yes, we have included. Module segments can be used by invoking the name and some parameters. Yes, I have invoked rand int 100 comma 200 with the parameters. Module segments can be used by other modules. The random can be used in other thing. This is not given here, but you can you will learn later sessions. So, do you understand the characteristics of module? Next, what is the benefits by using the model programming? Less code. Yes, the coding is reduced because in the example, we didn't say anything about random. Simply imported. Import random. Reusability of code. Yes, it is. The random package is stored, but it is used here. So, the coding is reused. Small team deals with only a small part of the entire code. Because I never care about what is inside the package random because I am caring only what is given in the examples. So a small team deals with only a small part of the entire code. That means a big program is subdivided and it is 
the task is divided to each one so it makes the job easy allows many programmers to collaborate on the same application as yes, separate teams are working together to form the final program code is stored across multiple files as it is stored in the library files the codings are stored in different different files or uh, many files code is short simple and easy to understand yes it's simple easy and short errors can be easily identified as the task is subdivided identifying the errors are very easy scoping of variables can easily be controlled uh, i want to insist one point here because while writing um, coding that is having millions of lines I, I cannot write millions of scope uh, variables. Uh, remembering the name is very tough. So the scoping will give a way of using the same variable name in many places. So it's very important of scoping of variables here. Is it clear, children? I'll repeat. The benefits of model programming is less code, reusability of code. Small team deals with small part of the entire code. Many programmers collaborate and work. Stored across multiple files, the code is short, simple, and easy. Errors can be easily identified and cleared. Scoping of variables can easily be controlled. Access control. What is the meaning? Access control is a security technique that regulates who or what can view or use resource in a computing environment. In other words, access control is a selective restriction of access to data. You can remember this, selective restrictions of access to data. Because we are going to restrict the visibility of data to a particular person or particular functions in a program. In object-oriented programming languages such as C++ and Java, it is implemented through the access modifiers or the access specifiers, public, private, protected. We you remember these three words you have learned in C++ in your learned standard, public by the name itself it can be accessed by everyone public property private it's a private thing protector it will have some uh, interconnection with others what is that access specifiers in OPS. private private members of a class are denied access from outside the class they can be handled only from within the class so the member functions and the data members which are inside the class with the access specifier private is used only within the class. Even it is not accessed by the object of the class in the main. I hope you remember this. Public, public members are accessible from outside the class. The object of the same class is required to invoke a public method in the main. Only public members are called in the main function by the object of the same class. Protected. protected members of a class are accessible from within the class and are also available to its subclasses. This protector is implemented effectively when we are having inheritance in C++. I am not going to elaborate this because this is not much related with Python. Let's come to Python. Python does not have any mechanism that effectively restrict access to any instance, instance variable or method. Python prescribes a convention of prefixing the name of the variable or method with single or double underscore to emulate the behavior of protected and private access specifiers. That means here there is no keyword of private, protected, public, but there is another method to implement that. Don't feel that Python is with less security. It is having good security. All members in Python classes are public by default. Whereas by default in C++ and Java, they are private. This is the difference between Python and C++. Any member can be accessed from outside the class environment in Python, which is not possible in C++ and Java. See the example of enclosed scope. Here there are two functions, A is in the outer function and it is used in the inner function also. Here the visibility is coming to the inner function also. But if there is a need to restrict the visibility of the function to the inner class means I can restrict. How can I restrict the visibility? Simply by using two underscore above the uh, before the variable A. 
So if I add the two underscore before the variable a, it is not accessible in the inner function, but it can be used in the disp function. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this channel, subscribe this channel to watch the upcoming videos. Thank you. Have a good day.